Hello folks and welcome again to another Halo Fan for Life toy review. This one is on the Mega Bloks drop pod. This one is the um, it's a metallic series and this is the blue one. So uh, let's take a look here. This set number is 97418 and it has 11 pieces. Uh, as I showed in previous ones, uh, they envelop the uh, drop pod itself, which, by the way, is a two-piece mold. And it's not made out of uh, blocks itself. It's, uh, it's a mold. Uh, but anyways, it's surrounded by this little clear piece of plastic here to keep the mold intact while it's on the shelf. So let's go ahead and take this off uh, while I'm doing that. In the meantime, the set retails for uh, about 4 to $5, depends on where you get them from. Uh, and that's actually comparable uh, to... Uh, the minifigures that you get in the single packs, considering those minifigures are anywhere between $2.50 and $4, again, depending on where you get them from. Okay, so let's take a look at what we get inside. All right, so first of all, uh, this comes apart, just clicks off like that. Uh, here's a little cardboard piece that shows, uh, you know, the figure, uh, the set. And uh, inside, you have uh, your instruction uh, sheet, and again, two-piece mold. Uh, I don't know if you can see this here, but right in there, it's stamped Mega Bloks. Uh, and as well in here, right above my thumb, it says Mega Bloks. So there's the inside. Here's the outside. Now, this isn't necessarily really blue. It's just kind of a really dark gray with a slight bluish tint. I like to call this shark skin gray. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. And, of course, you can always paint these, too, if you want uh, to make them look special. Otherwise, they're really good for um, uh, background uh, filler for uh, dioramas. Okay, so let's put that aside. Uh, I'm going to show the uh, sheet again real quick here. Uh, on one side, you have all four of the Metallic Series uh, drop pods. And... On the back, not really much of an instruction sheet. It just shows how the figure comes together, uh, as this is really just a figure and uh, a weapon and such. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, again, here's the little baggie that comes with all the uh, parts for the set. And here's what we have inside then. Okay, so inside we have a 2x4 uh, figure stamp or block piece. And on the other side, it has in color, the metallic color of the uh, ODST itself. It says Halo. It's very cool. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure here. We'll build it together. First of all, as you can notice, a very nice shiny metallic blue over its black under armor. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting that together here. An arm, then a leg, and then we have another arm its other leg his helmet and then this one comes with an AR otherwise known as an assault rifle and a black backpack right there okay so uh, you can put this figure on the stand or use him in a diorama or scene or whatever you want to call it uh, it's a very cool figure uh, notice again that it also has, as the other ones that I've shown, uh, the uh, the shark tooth imprint above and below the visor. Uh, it's a very cool uh, looking figure. I do like the blue on this one. I think this just fits really well uh, with the ODST uh, armor, especially I guess because the visor's blue itself. Uh, in fact, it looks like they're the same blue, or maybe slightly different. But regardless, it's a good looking figure. Uh, the first one that I reviewed was was the silver one and it also had the black under armor but the second one that I reviewed which was the red one more like a copper color it had a dark gray under armor so anyways it doesn't really matter that much to me I I, uh, I just like the colors of it uh, and more ODSTs the better uh, it's always good to have these guys so that's it that's my review quick little review for this uh, I want to thank you for uh, watching tuning in and feel free to check out my blog halofanforlife.com where not only do I do tour reviews but also Halo book reviews uh, reviews on the game helpful tips uh, basically every and anything that comes to Halo uh, or comes to mind when you think of Halo. Alright folks, well thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.